I just had a really, really healthy breakfast, but now I'm ready for some unhealthy stuff. And I'm gonna share with you this awesome Twix uh, shortbread bars that I make. They are so good. I mean, there's a layer of salted caramel on a on top of a bed of pretzels on a crust and covered in chocolate. It's the ultimate sweet and salty combination. I know I say that a lot and I'm talking with my hands a little too much because I'm super excited. But trust me, salted caramel is kind of like you have a little bit of salted caramel and then you have a little more and then the guilt trip starts coming in. But you know, that can wait. But for now, let's get unhealthy together. Okay, so we're going to start by making a gorgeous crust and for that we need our butter, confectioner sugar and we're going to mix it together and into that we are going to add in our flour and mix that in as well. Just don't have a flour shower. Okay, but basically what we want to do is see if the dough pinches together and once that is done we can stop mixing and confectioner sugar is going to make sure our crust is really nice and tender yet crispy. And now as you can see I can pinch the dough together and now I'm taking my entire dough and pressing it right into my pan that I've lined with foil. And we're going to pop that into, ooh, we don't have to pop that in yet, we are going to take a fork and pop the entire surface of it just to make sure that our dough doesn't rise while it's baking in the oven. And this one part is done. Now onto our salted caramel. This is very dangerous by the way because you'll be taste testing throughout. So into my condensed milk I have put in my brown sugar and butter and of course salt without which salted caramel is not going to be salted caramel. Now, in, now I've left it on a stove with like medium to low heat and just let it do its thing until it's nice and thick and luxurious like this one right here and that took me about 30 to 45 minutes so you gotta be very patient. And now we're gonna dump all of that onto our cooled crust and as you can see the crust is really nicely brown. And just spread that onto our pan. And of course I forgot my pretzels which is a good thing because I like this um, contrast a lot better because you get the crust, you get salted caramel then you get another kind of like crispy thing and then you get your chocolate so do that by the way and I am taking my chocolate ganache if you prefer you don't have to add the cream you can just smelt your chocolate and put that right uh, spread that right onto uh, the pretzels and that is perfectly fine but I think um, the chocolate might be a little stiffer to work with so the cream just helps to soften it a little but also you, then you need to make sure that you refrigerate this thing in the refrigerator obviously and of course that's me here and this I think is really really cool because I never really pay attention when I'm washing dishes which is really just like a little scrub here and there but slow motion actually makes me look like I'm washing dishes and paying attention but I don't think anybody wants to watch me do this thing so I'm just gonna fast forward it Okay, B, we are done with our salted caramel better than Twix bars. Well, okay guys, my bars were chilling in the refrigerator for about half an hour to about 45 minutes. I just wanted to make sure my ganache there was really nicely set. Um, and I actually don't really want to do this because this looks really, really good. And I know that one bite will lead me to another bite will lead me to another bite. But let's, let's do this. So I'm just going to... I mean the crust is so nice and tender but crisp at the same time and it easily like slices into it. That's my biggest problem like with crust being too hard. Ooh. Okay. So I don't know if we're coming closer. Are we coming closer or incompetent camera girl? Easily? Did you just call me incompetent? Did you just interrupt my... Alright, so I mean the square that I have in front of me, this... If you can see all the layers so nicely, and as you know my pretzels, I forgot to put a bed of pretzels on top of the crust because I'm me and I do that. So I layered it on top of the caramel and let's do this. This makes me really, really mad because it's so good. And I know that I'm going to be eating this the entire two or three days. It's going to sit in my refrigerator because let's be real, I don't really have that much that many people to feed but the crust is so tender you can bite into all the layers again the pretzels and semi sweet chocolate the caramel and the amazing crust and then it's like Twix I mean literally you're eating Twix but like gigantic pieces of Twix I can't, I can't even, I mean, 
And if you're anything like me, you have a thing, you have an obsession with like sweet and salty stuff, you need to make this. I'm gonna warn you though, it is dangerous, because I'm about to do this. Um, oh my god. And I know this is gonna keep me in the gym for another two hours. I mean, do you see, do you see what I'm doing? This needs to be in your belly right now. I hope you like the video. Give me a thumbs up if you try it. Let me know how it is, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. It's so good though. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Iza. Today I will. Really, no, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Salted caramel on a layer of, of bread of. Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm gonna make this salted caramel layer on top of the bread. On top of. Uh, I'll show you guys. <laughs>